right. Well, now it is time for another edition of History Strikes Back. All right, we're moving from one segment to the next here. Uh, it is January 19th, uh, and so we're going to talk about January 19th in history. Uh, just as some background here, I use a number of uh, sources to find these items. For verification, I almost always, like you know, 95% of the time, will find a book with fairly extensive sourcing in it. Um, a disclaimer, I have a disclaimer here for Wikipedia users. Oh, goody. <laughs> I will use Wikipedia in two cases. One is to find superficial, high-level, generic, one-sentence answers about a topic. The second is if the source list at the bottom of the page is fairly thorough, balanced, accurate, or useful. Now, otherwise, I rely on contemporary sources or well-reputed non-pop culture references for accuracy and integrity. So, now for History Strikes Back, January 19th. Um, some of the things I got here are the, in 1917 was the Zimmerman Telegram, I think also known as the Zimmerman Letter. Uh, had something to do with World War One. Uh, didn't have a chance to really, really pursue it, but uh, I, I can I can assure you it has something to do with World War One, um, and a guy named Zimmerman, and and a telegram, and uh, for, for that's really for, useful for 1979. Uh, we have the Bokassa demonstrations in the Central African Republic, um, and I want to talk a little bit about. Um, the uh, January 19th, 1847, when Governor Bent was killed, I'll come back to that. But uh, so, but first, I'm going to read some stuff. Of this, some of the stuff here from uh, once again, where did it go? Once again from HistoryOrb.com, and uh, I think we I think we fared a little bit better last week with History Orb. Uh, lots of lots of details and information there, but uh, sometimes. Sometimes there's a, it's a little fuzzy. There can be some discrepancies. Yeah, yeah. Um, Theodosius was installed as co-emperor of the East in the Roman Empire in 379. Uh, there's some nice pictures of him on uh, on some domes in, in Turkey, if you can get there. And um, let's see, Pope Benedictus VI was elected in 1973, 19, <laughs> sorry. Uh, French city of Rouen, Rouen surrenders to Henry the Henry V in hundred year in the Hundred Years' War in fourteen nineteen. <laughs> French surrendering again. <laughs> oh, well, there there you go. And, um, <laughs> parle vous français. You guys, yeah. you guys didn't surrender, did you? Oh, nope, 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 nope. Uh, the let's see, in seventeen ninety three, the French once again, French King Louis the Sixteenth is sentenced to death. Um, the overnight temperature in Portsmouth, New Hampshire drops 50 degrees in 1810. That was a particularly cold year. Antarctica was discovered in 1840. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. It was actually discovered in 1840? I mean, it had always been there. Well, yeah, it had always been there, but for no, well, everybody always went west or east. Nobody went south. Yeah, yeah. Because it was just one big ice block, I guess. Yeah, I mean, would you really want to go down there where it was a bunch cold of, and bunch of penguins? Yeah, no, I no. And I was actually going to reference, you know, our friend Nathaniel Philbrook. Mm -hmm. He uh, wrote uh, "Sea of Glory," right? Right, and we've talked about that in a in a previous uh, previous show, uh, and that actually goes into goes into detail regarding Antarctica and Charles Wilkes, oh. the uh, the discoverer, I guess you could say, of that during that expedition. Um, Else, what else have I got here? The first regular transatlantic radio broadcast between the U.S. and England was conducted in 1903. Oh, and I have something here about the first airships because it says the first German Zeppelin attack over Great Britain and four died. I thought that was the who that the four people died because they were trampled, not Led Zeppelin. Uh, I think you're probably right there. <laughs> Well, you want me to look that up? <laughs> yeah, give give that again, over. Say so, say that again. So people were trampled at a Led Zeppelin concert. <laughs> I, I'm I'm kidding. Oh, I'm talking about zeppelins. The first German zeppelin attack over Great Britain was in 1915. Got it. And four died, and four people were trampled in 1979 at a Who right. concert. 
Uh, well, I guess they were taking it literal about the stairway to heaven. <laughs> they wanted to get uh, there. That that is pretty one, pretty good one there, Curry. Yeah, I have my moments. This is uh, this is from Navy's most wanted, the top ten book of admirable admirals, uh, sleek submarines, and other naval oddities by Norman Palmer, or I'm sorry, Norman Polmar and Christopher. I can't read my writing. Some guy named Chris from <laughs> 2009. It says, when World War I began in August 1914, the German Navy operated a single rigid airship. The German Army had six. The Navy saw the Zeppelin as an excellent reconnaissance platform for the fleet and soon acquired additional airships for that role. Beginning on January 19, 1959, uh, 1959, January 19, 1915, naval airships began bombing raids over England and on May 31, 1915, bombed London for the first time. These were the first strategic bombing operations against England. In a bombing raid against London on September 2nd, 1916, 12 naval airships and four army airships bombed the city. Throughout 1915, the naval zeppelins raided the Allied capitals of London and Paris with relative safety. But by the fall of 1916, the hydrogen-filled zeppelins were becoming highly vulnerable to opposing fighter aircraft. Soon, German army, yeah, it seems like all you'd have to do is just, you know, like in the cartoons, you know, get a pin or something, something sharp. Just yeah. throw something sharp at it. You probably throw something sharp at it from the ground. Uh, soon, German army bombers replaced the increasingly vulnerable Zeps in strategic raids. Freakengatten Kapitan Peter Strasser <laughs> commanded the German Navy's Zeppelin force in World War I. Having joined the Navy in age 15, he personally led Zeppelin raids on Britain. Strasser died when the Z.70 was shot down over the Norfolk coast on August 6, 1918. Again, that is from Navy's Most Wanted, the Top Ten Book of Admirable Admirals, Sleek Submarines, and Other Naval Oddities. So. We all live in a <laughs> uh, And then uh, 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 1961, the first episode for Dick Van Dyke show was filmed. Oh, cool. I show. love that show. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I went, went back and watched all the episodes on Hulu.com. Oh. They, got the, they got all seasons on there. Going to Washington. Yes, that went. <laughs> um, in 1949, Cuba recognizes Israel. Well, that's just 1949. Mm-hmm. And then they become a nation the year before. Something like that, yeah. 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 Um, I bet you guys would have liked to have had a Zeppelin at the Alamo. Well, well, that would have been awesome. Yeah, that that would have been nice, but uh, I think Led Zeppelin might have been a little bit better. I think it would have been a little, <laughs> little, little, little more entertaining having Rob, old Robert Plant there, having, yes. having, having, having wailed some songs out, out there. <laughs> Probably startled the Mexicans, right? You know, and sure, it sure wake them up. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, that's that's almost what I've got. I wanted to mention the the Governor Bent story. Um, if you give me just a moment. Yeah. Looking, looking. Bum, 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 bum. This bum, is pre-recorded, yeah. by the way. Yes. <laughs> so I can take, so it, by, I can by, take by, as long as I want. Yeah, that's true. That by the time you hear this, that will be no time at all. Okay. Well, there's a January 19th, 1847. In Don Fernandez de Taos, I'm trying to say it like Davy Crockett, present day, Taos, New Mexico. Gee, I wouldn't have ever figured that. Recently installed Governor George Bent was trying to keep Mexican and Pueblo Indians from revolting or from being revolting. An early revolt was prevented. A number of Pueblo Indians demanded the release of some Indians being held in jail. Words were exchanged and a fight started. People were killed on both sides. Governor Bent was attacked, killed, and scalped. The Indians' plan was to kill all of the Americans they could find. Near Mora, eight Americans were captured robbed and shot. Many Mexicans joined the revolt against the Americans who had captured Santa Fe de, Santa Fe de San Francisco, present-day Santa Fe, New Mexico, on August 18, 1846. And I, I bring this up because um, you might remember on our past show, I've mm-hmm. talked about our, our, one of our trips to New Mexico. Yes. And, and to Taos. And there is a monument in Taos. Mm-hmm. And it... Uh, that was our August show. Descri- oh, you remember this. <laughs> <laughs> you got a good memory. Well, um, the, I was but, editing it a few weeks ago. Oh, <laughs> so, well, that yes, explains I do remember. it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's a, it's a, there's a monument there, and it describes this event. And then there's like a part that's scratched out. 
And it's it's like I mean it's obviously been I mean it's not just somebody with car keys or something mm-hmm. that just scratched a word out or whatever. It looks like it was done used by an industrial tool by a you know by a city official or something. Okay. And um, I was like, well, wait a minute, but what it, the word is like describing the Indian, like what what tribe of Indian it mm-hmm. is. And um, I just at the time of when we were there, I was like, well, I wonder what I mean. Yeah. What, what was this all about? Yeah, I mean, and, and so it was like, it's, so it's obvious that somebody was trying to edit the, yeah, edit, edit the, the, the the monument, the stone, yeah. the, you know, the stuff that's like etched in 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 well, uh, that's rude. iron. Um, and, and it was rude. <laughs> Is that what you said? Yeah, How yeah. Rude. I know. <laughs> that's what, that was, it was my first thought too. <laughs> rude. Uh, so yeah, when I got home, you know, I got on the internet and yeah, looked, looked it up, and and so that was that was the event, and it, was, it turns out it was the Pueblo Indians, mm-hmm. not the not the mean nasty Navajos or the mean nasty Apaches. Right. It was the Pueblo, the nice peaceful mm-hmm. Pueblos. So I wonder why they. Right. I wonder why they uh, cut that out of there. Yeah, I was going to ask the same. What? Well, why would they feel right, the need maybe, to cut that maybe out? Maybe they don't want anybody knowing that the pueblos were ever bad. Oh, <laughs> hey, you know, I'm. It I got, I know, I got nothing against it. You know. Yeah. No, I mean, I, you know, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, my ancestry is French. You know, so hey, right. I'm, we've been making fun of the French. For- <laughs> <laughs> Well, we always make fun of the French on the show at least once. Yeah. Oh, at least once. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you not one time you have been a really good boy. Okay. Because first of all, you've held your tongue from sour language. My daughter thanks you. Oh. <laughs> and you have not one time mentioned our fair friend Hussein. <laughs> I am proud of you, Hank. <laughs> Well, it's this part. It's part of the different format. Yes, yes. We're, yes, we're trying to making some changes. Trying to limit it to the time. You know, <laughs> now you're biting your tongue. There's only so many <laughs> things you can say in the space of 30 minutes. So, yep. what what do I want to focus on? Well, the important thing is focusing on history and <laughs> getting it right. <laughs> yeah, it's not as much fun for me anymore because I can't punch your buttons. Oh. <laughs> It's like so many things can go right now. Well, we might we might be able to do that later. Okay, uh, you know, we're still working this format out. I yeah. do like the direction this has been going. Yeah. this has been a lot of fun. Yeah, we, we. I mean, I would like to expand back to the you know the two hour thing, but uh, right. Uh, you know, we're, well, we're there's doing, different ways we can do it. We yeah. still we'll discuss that later. I, I just, just I mean, there's no room for a segment for a book review or for an interview right now, so we're. We'll discuss that later. Yeah. I we'll, got ideas. Well, we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> There's we'll, meetings. We'll get it. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. There will be meetings. There will be meetings. <laughs> Do you guys, I'm sure you guys, like, did you guys meet or did y'all just, just take over when 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 the Alamo was sieged? I mean, did it just all come naturally or did y'all, like, have to plan? And Well, we, can't, we, we sort of planned it out, but uh, we knew exactly what we were supposed to do and – uh once we got started, we went all the way, and uh, we uh, well won, won the whole battle, and uh, that's that's all I can really say. So who was so who was who was the bravest? I mean, was it Travis or was it uh, uh, Bowie? Uh yeah, they're, they're both pretty brave, but uh, I, I give myself credit. I'm I'm pretty brave too. <laughs> but, uh, well, he wears a squirrel on his head. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So anybody, anybody who makes that fashion disaster has got to be pretty brave. Well, I think anybody that could, would tell the the people in Tennessee that uh, they can all go to hell. Um, oh, I just broke the rule. <laughs> you are doing so good. No. <laughs> you all can go to hell. I'm going to Texas. Yep. Right. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Family show, Hank. Uh, Family show. And you, and you never said that on the Disney show. I was waiting and waiting for it to happen, and it never, never came up. Yeah, they they wouldn't let me say that. <laughs> they said, uh, yeah, and they kind of toned tone down the language. Yeah, and they so, wouldn't they wouldn't show Barbara Eden's belly button either. So well, that, that, I was kind of disappointed in that. Too, <laughs> uh, yep, <laughs> that would have been the highlight uh, of my day, actually. Because <laughs> aside from looking at my own, uh, I don't get to see anybody else's. So, by, by, yeah, Bar- Barbara, Barbara Eden, she's she per- pertinent. She still is. Well, 
Okay. Well, I was going to mention uh, mm-hmm. regarding the the Governor Bent incident in 1847, on yeah. January 19th, uh, Blood and Thunder, one of the recent yes. books that I've read, Blood and Thunder by Hampton Sides, mm-hmm. an excellent book uh, regarding the Old West, regarding Kit Carson. Uh, you know, if you're and 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 the uh, the Taos uprising is also mentioned in in the book and, and goes into some some relative detail, but uh, but anyway, um, I think that uh, I think that just about wraps it up. All right. All right. Awesome. You, you have anything else to say before we? Isn't Blood and Thunder the 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 book about the uh, the Indy Five Hundred? <laughs> Or am I thinking of something else? You're thinking of something else because there were there were three books that I read in a row that that it all had blood in them. There's blood, yeah. and, blood and <laughs> it was a blood fest. Yeah, I know. Blood and thunder. Yeah, all you're right. going to make me use my memory. All right. Well, we'll go and back to nottoolateshow dot com and we'll, we'll figure that out later. In the meantime, folks, uh, make sure you check out our Twitter uh, not too uh, twitter dot com slash not too late show. Our Facebook page not too late show, and of course you can check out Hank at not. Number two, Late Show. And, of course, I'm Carrie Kaufman. And, y'all, that's it for me. All right. Thanks to uh, Keisha and Regina for, for being, yeah, for being here. And to Adrian. Uh, I appreciate it. We will be driving in a little time bomb.